Any of you girls want to go outside? Hey? Eh? The door opens this way, guys. You always forget every time. Come on. Ooh, it's chilly out here. You guys aren't going to want to go far. In the yard, though. Come on. In the yard. I'd say it's a little chilly this morning. It's about minus 24 outside Celsius. You guys all right? You boys all right? Paws didn't get you cold. Oh, yeah. It's cold out there this morning, eh? It's cold. I know, you're lucky you get to stay home in the warm. I gotta go outside. Well, you didn't think we were gonna have a full vlog without Timmy's now. That's crazy talk. That's crazy talk, you know me. Oh, and there's no lineup today either. Fantastic. Hi there, can I take your order, please? Can I just get a medium coffee with one cream, please? Sounds wonderful. That's everything for you. That's it. Two hours at the window, please. You thought I was going to say super duper. Gotcha. I'll be with Debit. There it is. Thank you. Every once in a while, I like to throw them off and not say anything. Just in case they get used to me. They start figuring out it's me. Today is going to be a fantastic day. Want to know how I know that? No, it's not because of the ice on my windshield. It's not because my windshield wipers are all full of ice. No, that's not. That's just the start. It's going to be a good day because it's minus 24 and it's a Monday. Woo! And this new chapter of my life is slowly unraveling itself in a good way it's slowly unrolling the page is slowly turning you know 2021 is going to be the best year yet we're going to make it that way so the, the way you make it a good day like i wake up every day and i physically say a lot of times on camera i physically say it's going to be a good day today you know sometimes it's not sometimes i have bad days but the next day i wake up again and i say it again today is going to be a good day there's something about speaking something into existence. You keep saying it until it becomes reality. All right, even if you don't feel like it's gonna be a great day, tell yourself, I'm gonna have a good day. Why? Just because we're gonna make it a good day. You'll find yourself, I think, happier and happier and having better and better days. They're not all gonna be good. Believe me, I got some really bad days, too. I've had some really bad days, but you know what? Each day is a blank slate. You wake up and you try again. It's going to be a good day. We're in the Sprinter again today, and it's a beautiful sunrise. One of the reasons I love getting up early is watching the sun come up. I like it better than the sunset. I mean, the sunset means the day's over. It's almost time to go to bed. Sunset means the day's just beginning. Time to get some stuff done, you know? So we're just coming into Steinbeck here. I got a bunch of deliveries to do around town here. I got to run over to Grunthal and then out to Yonzi over in uh, by Winkler around there. I think I'm going to Carmen, Roland, on the other side of the river. Kind of a hazy morning though, eh? It was pretty cold. It's going to warm up, though. It's supposed to go up to minus 6. <sighs> Yikes. The only time the sunrise is not so good is when it's right in your face. Wow. I think i got to follow this feed truck, too. Man. It's going the same place I am. Or not the same place. It's going down the same road I am. But who knows? We might end up at the same place. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yes, please block the sun for me. That's a that's a nice sun visor. Guess I don't need this on right now. So one thing about pickup and delivery, uh, you need this mask on everywhere you go, obviously. I call it my muzzle. But uh, definitely get good use out of that. Just got myself some coffee here. 
We're at the co-op in Grunthal. Uh, headed over to Winkler. Gonna go to Winkler, drop one piece off there, pick one piece up, and then I gotta go to Roland and Carmen and then deliver whatever other piece that was that I picked up. So we better get moving. No time to waste. Wait. We got a little bit of time. We got time to do this. Always time to do this, right? There's always time for that. All right, let's go. Oh, I hope that's gonna stay there. Be better there. Is that one? There we go. Is that better? Hope it's gonna stay. <laughs> All right, let's go bring people their boxes. Everybody needs boxes, and they need boxes right now. I've got their boxes. Let's go. So I've had family in the Grunthal area. Britt also had family in the Grunthal area growing up, so this town is sort of uh, very familiar to the both of us. Us, I think this is Highway 75 southbound. America directly in front of us. This highway turns into Interstate 29 once we hit the border. Not going quite that far today, but we've gone down this highway countless, countless times in the past. This highway is always under construction. It looks like they just finished that side, which means they're probably going to start on this side again. Never ending construction. So it follows the Red River, which is that way. And it goes all the way down through uh, Grand Forks and Fargo uh, into the US there. So it's one of the only rivers in North America that flow northward into the Hudson's Bay and it drains into the Hudson's Bay up north. Uh, most other rivers run south and drain into uh, Gulf of Mexico and other places. Tidbit of useless information, I got lots of that for you. So this highway will take us down to 14 and then we'll turn that way. pumpkin this 12 foot tall 12 foot wide pumpkin was built in 1990 during the Roland Centennial in honor of Edgar Van Wick the pumpkin king I gotta meet my next customer here he's gonna pick up his package from me here and I figured hey may as well include this roadside attraction in our 101 challenge right and while we wait for him why don't we go over here and check her out Big pumpkin. What does this say? The village of Roland was named in honor of Roland McDonald, lumber merchant, who arrived here in 1879. In 1889, two boxcars were left on the newly completed Red River Valley Railway, indicating the position of a town site. The railroad scouts who made the home of Mr. and Mrs. Roland McDonald their headquarters. 
oh, who made the home, named his property Roland in honor of their hosts. Huh, interesting. Roland McDonald was Reeve of the municipality for the years 1890 to 1894. Huh, it's the town of Roland. They got a big pumpkin. Cross that one off the list. Killing two birds with one stone here. Bringing people their boxes and also completing our roadside attraction challenge. <laughs> this is what I'm driving today. Not bad, eh? There's actually a lot of space in there. I understand why he wanted to meet me at the pumpkin now. He's guiding me to where I gotta deliver the package, which is down the back roads. It's easier just to bring me there than to, uh, I guess, direct me down all these roads. Most people wouldn't understand all the names for these roads and stuff. I probably wouldn't either, though. These are the kind of roads I grew up on. But it's just easier to follow him, so it's nice of him to come meet me and guide me in. these country roads out here in Yonzi. It's like everything. Well, same thing in uh, on the Steinbach side of things too. I mean, everything is east, west, north, south, all in grid roads, all spaced one mile apart. So everything in between here is one square mile. And the, the land is portioned out usually into quarters. So there's four properties in one square mile. That way everyone gets road access and then there's a road every mile and it makes it really easy to get around. I love these country properties. Look at that, they got like a, oh, they got an ice rink right there. That's cool, they're playing hockey out in their front yard. Doesn't get more Canadian than this. Come on, that's awesome. I'd love to have an ice rink. Uh, once we build our property, uh, build on our land, probably have an ice rink for sure. All right, well, with that one done, that means we only got one left here in Carmen. About five minutes up the road. Gotta drop off two boxes there and radio in. I don't know if they got more stuff for me to do or I'm thinking that's probably gonna be it because, oh no, I got those envelopes. I gotta drop off some envelopes to Stein back in. And then that would be it, I guess. That'll take me home. Because I've, I've been listening to the other guys on the radio. It sounds like a lot of them are headed back already too. Kind of a slow day. Some businesses decide to take off from Christmas all the way till after New Year in this area. That's fine if that's what they want to do, but that means less stuff for us to do, right? Less packages. We can't deliver your packages if you're not there. Carmen. Carmen, Manitoba. Oh, look, they made a Christmas tree out of tires. <laughs> got lights up it too. That'd be awesome at night, I bet. <laughs> it's clever. 
clever, clever Carmen. Clever Carmen, that's how you'll be known from now on. What an itty bitty house. That one's even smaller than our house. Wow, that's impressive. What do we got? We gotta go through here. Carmen's actually a pretty nice town. They've obviously put new winter tires on this vehicle very recently because the tires on here are great, but wow do they hum. <laughs> they got a nice hum on the highway. I gotta show you them yet before I go home if I don't forget. I'm pretty sure these tires would take me through anything. Anything this winter can throw at me. Have you ever seen sun dogs before? You see them? It's like a rainbow that goes all the way around the sun. They're not even that bright right now. They get much brighter than that. That means cold weather is coming. You see that all the time here in winter. It's pretty neat, eh? It's like a whole ring around the whole sun. Sun dogs. Have you ever seen them? Guess we better make sure to plug in the vehicles tonight. It's gonna get cold. You remember what I said about clear skies in winter, right? If it's overcast and it's cloudy, it's probably gonna be a little warmer, it might even snow. But if it's clear skies like today, Clear blue skies in winter, you know it's gonna be cold. If it's not cold already, the cold weather is coming. It's like a vacuum. All of the heat just gets sucked right out of the right out of the earth whenever there's not clouds. That's how you know that it's some real cold weather. Plus the sun dogs. So you got that and a clear sky. I have a feeling I better plug in the vehicles overnight. What's going on in here? Who's beating up who? A little bit of both. Look at this, I'm home before the sun even goes down. Wow. It's a short day today. Weren't very busy. What are we gonna do with all our free time? So many activities. Hey guys, you wanna build bunk beds? <laughs> I snuck up on all of them. They were all sleeping. I got all the way to the door and almost into the house before they realized I was home. <laughs> Some guard dogs you are. Don't bite his face. I just want to pet him. I'm going to bite his legs instead. Oh, brothers. <laughs>